Hello, my name is Austin Crouch. I am currently a senior at the University of Arkansas. I am studying supply chain management and marketing. I have never gotten the chance to visit Crystal Bridges, but luckily with the Art in a Day project, I was finally able to experience Crystal Bridges for myself. The art piece I selected is 42nd Street by Theodore Rozak. He completed this piece in 1936. Rozak was born in Pozan, Poland on May 1st, 1907. A couple years later, in 1909, his family moved to Chicago to pursue the great American dream. Even during high school, Rozak attended the Art Institute of Chicago by taking night classes. Upon graduation, he enrolled full-time at the Art Institute of Chicago. Even though Rozak was young, he was still very talented and already won many awards. But in 1925, he produces My Violin Teacher that establishes him in the art community. In 1929, Rozak's hard work finally paid off, and he received a $1,500 scholarship to study abroad in Europe for eight months. The study abroad trip to Europe really influenced him a lot. During this time, he learned of the thriving modern art culture in Europe. He was very intrigued when he was introduced into the Bauhaus principles using the integration of art and life. Cubism and constructivism were his main interest points of study while abroad. Here's a picture of Rozak and his family right before he heads off to Europe for his study abroad expedition. This book, The New Vision, written by Mohale Nagli, greatly influenced Rozak's style, and he applied these principles to his own artwork. Now let's take a closer view of this piece. In this painting, Rozak was trying to depict Times Square in New York City. As you can see, the piece is almost solely composed of geometric shapes arranged together, except for the letters and numbers. He is using synthetic, cubes, synthetic cubism here because the colors are brighter than analytic cubism. One of the first things I noticed was the absence of humans or life in the painting. Isn't Times Square supposed to always have flocks of people in it? I believe the meaning of this painting can be derived from the absence of life. One thing that really caught my attention in this piece was the transparent, expressionless face of a woman in the center of the painting. It gave me somewhat of an eerie feeling. I believe that the absence of life and a creepy woman's face can provide meaning of this artwork and can also give an insight into the artist's life. Rozak purposely didn't put any people in the painting because it is showing his personal emotions. <clears throat> I think at this point in his life, he was very lonely and he was actually living in New York at the time as well. By not having people in the painting, I believe he's trying to convey the message of his loneliness and isolation he is feeling. The point he is trying to get across is that loneliness and isolation can still exist even in the most populous places on earth. Here are a couple other works of art created by Rozak. This is Invocation 1, made of steel in 1947, and is located at the Hirschhorn Museum and Sculpture Gardens. Mohali Nagli influenced Rozak to create pieces like this. In 1925, at the age of 18, Rozak produced this magnificent piece called My Violin Teacher. This charcoal study established him as a proficient draftsman at the young age of 18.